Hello everybody, Rose Thorne here. Today I am doing a tutorial video on how to make your own ambiance videos for YouTube or simply for your own relaxation and enjoyment. So anybody that's been part of my channel, you guys know that I'm doing ambiance videos now. I've done quite a few and I wanted to pass along some tips and advice on how to make ambiance videos uh, what sites to go to for sound, for music, for video clips, and how to do the whole editing process to make the ambiance video look its absolute best. So I've got my channel pulled up here, and as you guys can see, I've done quite a few ambiance videos. Let me just go ahead and bring up some of the videos that I've already done. So this one was pretty simple to make. Uh, the looping process really wasn't that intense. Some of these videos were a bit more work than others because the looping was a bit tricky. I'm going to get into that in a minute, but I want to show you guys some examples of different ambiance videos that you could make for your channel or for yourself. See, stuff like this is really relaxing and it's really not that complicated to make an ambiance video once you get the hang of it and it's actually a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun making all of my ambiance videos. I really like doing them and putting them out there for people so they can relax and, and maybe uh, get rid of some stress. But uh, let me just show you uh, one more example of the ambiance that I'm doing for my channel. So that's three examples of ambiance videos that I've done for my channel and I plan on making a lot more. I'm doing all kinds of ambiance videos, stuff on nature, natural ambiance, you know, like clothes on a clothesline, laundromat, that sort of thing. There's just all different areas of ASMR and ambiance you can get into and I'm just very happy to explore them all and just have a lot of fun with them. and. When it comes to making videos, I mean, that's part of the joy is you get to experiment and you get to try to different things. Uh, if you're someone and you're interested in ambiance videos, uh, maybe you're someone and you're saying, well, I don't have a whole lot of footage to work with. You know, like, where do I go to get footage to work with to make ambiance videos? Well, you'll be very happy to hear there are lots of sites that you can get uh, free, uh, uh, copyright free stock footage. Uh, what you want to look for is uh, video footage that is under Creative Commons, that it's copyright free, royalty free. Uh, there are different sites that cater to that. I'm going to bring up one right now so you know where to find it. So the site that I have pulled up here right now is called Pexels.com and Pexels is fantastic. You can find all kinds of footage on Pexels. Uh, you just put something in the search and it can bring up anything you want. There are photos, there are videos, uh, like there are literally thousands of videos here. Now something you should know, the video clips are not that long. We're talking like 10 seconds, 12 seconds, 14 seconds. They're not that long. So if you want to make an ambiance video, you're going to have to do one of two things. Either piece different videos together, or if you want to make make one video much longer, you're going to learn how to you're going to learn how to learn how to loop. And that can be a bit tricky depending on the uh, video clip, but this is one site for uh, video clips for stock video clips. 
pexels.com and there's another one called Pixabay which I'm going to show you right now. So this is Pixabay. So yeah, this is Pixabay. It's another site where you can get royalty free, copyright free footage. Uh, when you uh, go to a site like Pixabay or Pexels, just a couple of things. Uh, keep an eye on uh, if the footage is free to use and if it is make sure that when you make a video or something and it's put out there in the public that you give credit to the person who made the footage. Likewise if you happen to go to a site where you can get uh, certain sounds or sound effects uh, like free sound, here's something else you should know. If you're looking for sound and not video clips, there are different sites for that also. This one I use quite often. So this is freesound.org and there are lots and lots of different sounds you can get off of free sound. And what you want to look for when you're on free sound is what if you pull up Let's just say I wanted this one, the old ceiling fan running for a video. All right, I'm going to click on it. Now, when you are choosing a sound off of free sound or any site, what you want to take note of is this right here, this right here on the side. This work is licensed under the Creative Commons license. Creative Commons means you uh, you don't have to give attribution if you don't want to. Uh, if it's labeled as attribution, that means you have to give credit to the person on your video. You, you gotta put it in there somewhere like sound credit is so and so. Uh, if you are looking at a clip and it says uh, for non-commercial use only, that's something you can't use if your video is going to be monetized. So you kind of need to avoid that. So if you pull something off of free sound, uh, w when you're looking at the sound bite, look over here in the corner and see, you know, what what's the license for it. If you click over here, okay, it'll tell you exactly what the license is about, what covers it like the Creative Commons, no copyright, uh, other information. So all the information you need to know about the license is right there. You just got to click on the link and it'll tell you. So if you're needing sound, you can go to a site like Free Sound. There's also another one called Sound Bible. And if you're someone and you need music, you can have to look no further than the YouTube library. Believe it or not, your own YouTube profile has a YouTube audio library full of all different kinds of music. There is uh, jazz, blues, country, folk, ambient, everything in between. It's got different sound effects. Let me just pull up the audio library for you. So here's the audio library. And you can narrow it down to what you're looking for, to the genre, the mood, okay. I'm going to clear that out, and so I'm going to look up by genre. So you got many different genres here. You've got alternate and punk, ambient, children, cinematic, classical, country and folk, dance and electronic, hip-hop and rap, holiday, jazz and blues and pop. Oh, and there's more. <laughs> R&B and soul, reggae and rock. So you've got all those different genres to pick from. And if you want to look for a certain mood, you can do that too. So I want... And now I'm going to look for the mood. I want something calm. So I'm just going to hit calm and then apply.
and dang it. So all of the ambiance stuff is being pulled up and you can see you got the genre, you got the mood, you got the artist and some of them are also creative commons, some of them are attribution. If you're making an ambiance video, no matter what you're using, if it's something that did not come from you, it's always a good idea to give credit. Uh, there's also a lot of different channels on YouTube that if you look up, say, ambiance copyright free, you'll find lots of channels and lots of videos featuring copyright free music. And usually the, uh, the stipulation for using that music is you have to give credit to the artist. You have to do a copy paste thing of the artist information on the about me of that video and that way you can use it without a problem. So if you're looking for music, if you're looking for sound effects, if you're looking for video clips, there's all kinds of resources all over the internet to help you make a really great ambient video. So I just wanted to get into all of this before I show you the actual editing for video, just so you're aware of all the resources that are at your fingertips if you want to make a really great video. So, okay, now we're here at VideoPad Video Editor. I've already gone on uh, Pixabay and also on uh, Pexels. And I picked out some video clips because uh, I wanted to show you guys the many different things you can do with the videos. Uh, so I picked out different stuff. We've got this beautiful forest. We've got some ocean waves. We've got some water with the leaves. We've got uh, a rainy village. We've got some burning fire. Uh, I bought, brought up a different, like, different clips because I want to show you guys a few things when it comes to editing. If you're someone and you're interested in making a seamless loop ambient video, you should keep certain things in mind. Uh, when it comes to making a loop video, uh, look for videos that there's not a whole lot of motion going on in the video. Like it's, it's basically like the same motion over and over. You kind of want to avoid videos where, you know, people are walking in the background or cars are riding in the background where there's a whole lot of movement because that can be a pain in the butt to uh, work around when it comes to a loop video. Let me show you an example of that. So we have this beautiful uh, uh, forest video, right? And it looks great. But as much as I would love to make an ambient video of this, it would be impossible. Let me show you why. So we're going to have it down there. And uh, it looks great, but let me just play the clip. You see how the, that there's that movement going on? You see how that movement is going on? That's going to be a nightmare to loop out. Okay, we're going to stop it right there. Sorry about that. I was trying to figure out what that dinging noise is. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I guess we're just going to have to roll with it, y'all. So how am I going to uh, turn this, this one-minute clip into a looped video? By the way, if you're doing a looped video, it helps to choose video clips that are longer than say 10 seconds. If you're doing a looped video, the shorter the clip, the more noticeable the looping is going to be because it just it's going to keep happening in such a short span of time. So, let me just show you what I mean about why something like this is a nightmare for editing. So we're just going to play this, okay? Oops, let me go back.
See that? Did you see that switch? That's why. So when I do the edited clip, um, usually what I do what I, when I make the ambiance videos is I'll do what's known as a crossfade. Let me show you how that works. So there's the crossfade up there. What that does is, uh, what that does is it basically makes it to where it's, it's almost a seamless loop, but this is still not going to work. Let me show you why. See, what you want to do is you want to make it to where it just seems like it's, it's a long, continuous video. Whatever the looping is, it's, it's going to be like Groundhog Day, you know, like you're going very the back at the very beginning of the video of the first clip. So it's very noticeable that this is a looped clip. You want something that looks seamless. The, the walking motion, I mean, there's, there's no way to make this look like a long, seamless video to where it's, it's all one piece of film. It, 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 it's very noticeable that there's, there's looping going on here and it doesn't look very nice. So we'll just get rid of that. Okay. And we're going to add in another clip. And when you do editing, you just drop your clips down. This part right here, this is where you put your video. This is where you put your audio. And let's just say you want more than one audio track. Let's just say you're making an ambiance video and you want to, you've got an audio track that you want to put in, but you want to add the sound of birds or something. You can do that. So see what I just did there? There's, there's that arrow right there at the end. I just clicked it. This is the first audio track and I could drop another one down here at the bottom. And whatever the sound clip I want to put in, I could put it anywhere where this clip is at. So that's how you do mixing for the audio tracks. But right now I'm just using the one. So we've got this clip of, it's really pretty. You've got the leaves and the water. Uh, would love to use it, would love to use it, but it's a vertical. But something I found out, if you have a vertical clip like this, Generally, I don't like using vertical clips for my ambiance clips just because I like for it to cover the whole screen. And that way, if somebody wants to go full screen and just kind of immerse themselves in it and have a great background, you can't really do that with a vertical clip. So if you have a, a great vertical clip and you're like, well, what do I do with this? Uh, is there any way that I could change the aspect ratio? There actually is. Let me show you how that's done. First, you got to get rid of the original clip. Then you got to go up here. Um, in your menu, change clip aspect ratio, uh, stretch. Then you can, you can go, you stretch it by one or four, three. Let's try the one first. See how that made that bigger? See how it made it bigger? Uh, I'm going to play it to see if, you know, if the, uh, the motion of the video did not get messed up or can I stretch it further. You know, I like that, but I want the clip to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to see if I can get away with making it a little bit bigger to where it's full screen. You know, I might make an ambiance video with this later, but it did slow it down a little bit. I could tell by the motion it slowed down. Uh, this clip is really, really short. 
So I don't know if it would be good for looping, but let me give it a try. And the secret to, give a, to giving a good loop is whatever clip you have, you got to do the crossfade. You can't just put two clips next to each other at, without the crossfading, because if you do, when the first clip is over, you'll see the jump to the next one. You know, I really don't like that. I really don't like the aspect ratio. It's slowing down the clip a lot. It doesn't look natural. Let me just put it back. Let's see if that looks any better. See, that looks a bit more natural, so it's not completely what I want, but it's all right. And what I normally do when I make clips like this, once I get it down to where I have, I, I know exactly uh, what I'm going to use. What I'll do is I will make a five minute clip to start with. Like once I got it perfect, I'll make a five minute clip and then I'll download that. And then I'll close the program and then open it back up and bring the five minute clip onto the program just because these clips are so small that I don't want to sit here all day. <laughs> you know? So I make a five minute clip of something like this and then once it's downloaded, I'll close the program out and then bring it back up and then bring in the five minute clip. And then I'll just turn that five minutes into an hour's worth of footage. Uh, one thing to note about the crossfading. Sometimes uh, the crossfading can get a little hairy. You could be working with a clip and it's just the, the jump. You still see the jumping around. So here's how you fix that. You open up this, okay? Now you come down here where it says duration. See this little box down here, it says duration. What you can do is move it either up or down. Like right now it's at one. You can go as high as you want to and play around with the numbers and the higher up you go in numbers, the longer it takes for that transition to happen to where that jumping won't be so apparent. You can just play around to see what numbers work. The lower the number, the quicker the jump. So, you know, you could, if, if you're trying to crossfade something and it's, you know, like where, where the program puts it at initially, it's just not working. Try to play around with that, uh, with the speed. Play around where it says duration and move it up and down. And that way, you know, maybe you can fix that and you can make a clip. Uh, if you're making an ambiance video and you're using different clips, you don't have to worry about the crossfading. You don't have to worry about making a loop. You can just simply put the clips together and, you know, make it work like that. But if you're making one clip into a much longer clip, if you are doing the looping, uh, you, you know, you got you got to pay attention to things like uh, one clip being attached to another clip, all the jumping around, all the the jerk like the jerk from one footage to the next part of the footage. Uh, let's see. So when it comes to editing, you can also have fun with making ambiance videos. Uh, so, all right. 
we got the one clip over here. You can keep it as is, or we got video effects. We got the, we got video effects down here. You can actually add effects to your video clip. If you don't like the original clip, you want to get creative with it. There's all kinds of things you can do with it. So you gotta click, you gotta click on the clip that you want to change. And then you have this whole menu of things you can use. You got crop, mirror, motion. I don't know what program you're using, but usually every program has different things you can use to razzle dazzle, you know, your your ambiance video, whatever videos you're making, like. Some of the, the effects, I'll change the color. Like, see how that just changed? See how that just changed color? Uh, that's one effect. There's another one. So you can, you can change the length of the video. You can change the color scheme. Uh, you can do color changing or change it all together entirely. It just it's a lot of fun. Now a lot of people might be asking me, well that's all great for the video footage. But what about audio? What can we do about audio? Well allow me to show you what you can do with the audio. Like no it, unless uh, the video clip that I take off of Pexels or Pixabay has good audio to start with, uh, in most cases I'll take the audio completely off and start over. So what I'll do is I'll just remove the audio like this. Click on it. Unlink from video. That's what you want to do. Unlink from the video. And then hit delete. So that takes the audio off the clip. Then we have this audio over here. This is actually something from YouTube Audio Library. I just picked it out at random to make it part of the clip. Drag that down and let's play the video with and with the clip. Okay. So that means I'm just messing around here. I'm not making an actual video, but you can add music to a clip doing that. You can add sound effects. You can, you can actually do a recording of your own voice, believe it or not. And you can do that by using the record button. As you can see, this is record video, capture screenshot, video, record screen, record audio, record narration. So, you know, you can, you can record just your voice or your voice and the video and then add it to the existing video. Uh, I've done some voiceover videos already using this feature. Uh, and then just add pictures and videos and, and put a, make a video doing that. So really it's, it's all a matter of up to your creativity. You can add audio, you can take out audio, you can even change the pitch of the audio doing this. Watch this. See this button down here? It says change clip speed. This can change how fast the clip plays and you can also change the pitch. Uh, if you are someone and let's just say you have a video and there's something in the video with the audio or uh, the video itself you don't like. You just want to take it out. I'm, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Oops. By the way, if you ever mess up, if you're doing a video and you happen to mess up, there's always the oops button and the oops button is right up here. You see that, that uh, arrow going backwards? All you got to do is just press that. 
See, it fixed everything. You know, like the, the beautiful thing about editing is that you can you can take something out of a video you don't like. If you're playing a video and there's something in the audio, you can clip it out and still keep the video as is. I mean, it's just a matter of fine tuning it. When you're doing an ambiance video, you should pay attention to every single detail. Pay it, if you're if you're getting a uh, a video clip off of Pexels or Pixabay or anywhere, pay attention to the audio, pay attention to the video. Uh, you know, even the slightest thing will throw off your video. Like somebody talking, somebody sneezing, some noise in the background you don't want there. Make sure that you thoroughly comb through that video clip before you use it. Same thing with the audio clips. I mean, you could have an audio clip that sounds amazing, and then there's that one little thing on the video at like the very end or the very beginning that if you start to loop it, you know, that, that little thing is just going to keep coming up and coming up and coming up in the video, and it's going to throw it off, and it's going to make it sound horrible. So... Uh, if you are looking to do ambiance videos, and especially if you're looking to loop them, you want uh, one long continuous video clip that all looks like one piece. Uh, try to pick video clips for an ambiance videos that are a bit longer. The shorter the video, the trickier it's going to be to loop it, and the more noticeable the looping is going to be. Try to avoid videos where, like, there's a lot of movement, like the camera's moving from side to side. Uh, there's people walking, people talking. Uh, you know, the panning, the panning up or panning down shots. I mean, try to look for clips that are pretty still. Like, like one continuous shot of the ocean or the sea or something. And that way it does look like one long, unbreakable clip versus a bunch of clips put together. Uh, it's fun to experiment around and put stuff together. Uh, I mean, you can just experiment for free. It, whatever video program you might have, a uh, little pro tip, whether it's iMovie or whatnot, there are lots of tutorials on YouTube, probably by the score, that you can watch and figure stuff out. Like I said, I'm using VideoPad Video Editor, uh, and so I'm just working with what I got. But there's a lot here to work with. There's a lot of ways to get creative. A lot of, lot of ways to get creative. Let's see, get rid of that. Uh, when it comes to video clips, you can move stuff around. You can make them longer. Uh, you can do all kinds of things. You can, you can add pictures in here. Uh, you can add audio. You can add video. I mean, just so many things. You just don't be afraid of editing. But editing is actually pretty fun, and it's, it gives you a chance to be really, really, really creative. Uh, so, let's just say you make a bunch of clips, like you drop all these down here, right? And you want to save that. Well, then all you have to do is, sorry, my finger's getting tired. <laughs> you go up here where it says export video, video file. And you can save the file somewhere on your computer. By the way, if you just want to do something like when you're adding stuff on VideoPad Video, you got you got a separate section for video files, audio files, and images. So just keep that in mind when you're uploading stuff. Uh, sequences. That's basically that. That's where the uh, program is going to show you what's what's on screen. It's going to give you a preview. You can add text, you can add titles, you can record. Just don't be afraid to try out all the different features of whatever program you're using and see what it can do. And that way you know what you can do for your video. So, uh, yeah, that's how I make my ambiance videos. I just YouTube audio library, Pixabay, 
pixels, uh, just thinking outside the box and thinking of what can I do here, experimenting with uh, the crossfade and the times of the crossfade, experimenting with pitch and making the clips longer versus shorter, experimenting to see what clips work best and what ones I just can't work with. It's a, it's a long, fun process, and I'm learning a lot as I go. So I hope that everybody out there that you might be wondering how to make your own ambiance videos, especially how to do loop ones, how to get around taking a small clip and make it into something longer. I hope that I've given you some useful information. If I have, uh, just leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be very happy to help you. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.